I'm here to push you. Okay, we're eight weeks in, halfway through the semester. I'm going to push you. Um, you know, I'm not going to stand by and just let you do the bare minimum anymore, right? You guys chose to be in this class. What's up, everyone? Coach Hudson here. Uh, for those of you that don't know, um, I started teaching high school PE and coaching beginning weights this year. And today, I wanted to talk about intent, um, creating with intent, doing things with a purpose. Um, and this comes from my beginning weights class. Um, so I'm going to tell you what happened in weights, um, and then I'm going to explain, you know, kind of my thoughts around the process. So here we are eight weeks into um, the school year, and this is a beginning weights class, so mostly freshmen. I've got some sophomore, maybe a junior or two. And so some of them, a majority of them haven't been around the weight room, so it's been a gradual process um, with coaching and teaching, um, basic cues and techniques, um, and then slowly adding a little bit of weight once their technique is good. Um, so it's been a slow, slow process, but here we are eight weeks in, and, uh, you know, I had to stop the class um, about a, f a few times to go over intent. Um, so here's what I did. Last week, I turned off the music, I cut everything, um, made everyone stop, and I asked them, I said, raise your hand if you chose to be in this class. And of course, all of them raised their hands, right? Um, this is a class where you got to choose to be in it, okay? And the majority of the students are athletes, right? Looking to um, improve their physique or get better skill-wise, um, build muscle, strength, right? All that stuff, be active. Stop the class, everyone raised their hand. Yes, we uh, chose to be in here. Um, and so then next question I asked, okay, why are you in this class? Okay, why are you here? What is your goal? Um, what is your outcome of taking this class? And I only had about three or four students raise their hands and I asked them, um, you know, some of the answers were, I want to build muscle, I want to get stronger, um, I want to stay active, um, I want to get, you know, um, faster, I want to do all these things, right? Um, and I told them, look, you know, those are all very good goals, but what I was seeing in this class was students just going through the motion and just trying to get by. They were just going through the sets. They were just going through the reps. Um, and that is not what I want. Okay. At the beginning of the, the semester, it was okay. Right. But here we are. Everyone knows form. Everyone knows what they're doing. Um, I've explained things very well. They know the expectations. And, uh, you know, I told them, I said, Hey, look, those of you that said you want to build muscle and strength, right? Well, you can't still be doing the same weight that you were eight weeks ago. You should be progressing, right? Progressive overload. You should be adding weight to the bar. Um, for example, um, you know, a lot of the students in the class, they'll put on a weight, um, you know, say we're doing three sets of eight, right? They'll put on a weight where they're doing, they could get 20 reps, but they're, they're, they're stopping at eight, right? That's not what I want. I want them to be putting enough weight on the bar to where they can barely get eight reps, maybe leave it one or two in the tank, right? Um, and I told them, I said, look, man, you know, you're not going to get better, right, if you're doing the same weight and just trying to get by and just going through the motions. I don't want them going through the motions. That is not how you get better. That is not how you change, right? Um, you know, you only change outside of your comfort zone. I told them I would rather see them fail on a weight with good form than hit eight reps when they have 20 in the tank, right? That's not going to do anything for them. They have to challenge themselves, all right? So, um, you know, these are the type of rants and, and uh, speeches that I give in this class. And I told them, hey, like, I'm here to push you, okay? We're eight weeks in, halfway through the semester. I'm going to push you. Um, you know, I'm not going to stand by and just let you do the bare minimum anymore, right? You guys chose to be in this class, so I want you to really think and go through the motions with intent, right? You have to go through the motions with intent, right? It, intentions is everything. Um, and so 
I wanted to share this with you all um, because I think that this can be applied to any aspect of your life, right? Um, you know, whether it's business, um, professional, personal, right? Um, in your marriage, um, with your kids, um, sports, activities, anything that you um, are passionate about. If you truly want to get better at things, you have to be um, doing them with intent. You have to be mindful and you have to be present. Okay. So um, I honestly didn't know that I would like high school, but I'm, act, I'm falling in love with um, teaching these high school students that it's more than just, you know, the skills. Like this stuff can be applied to any aspect of their lives. And I love sharing my stories with them. Um, and I truly want to make a difference. Um, and so I'm going to ask you, I'm going to leave you with this question. Um, are you being intentful? Um, you know, are you creating with intent? Um, anything that you're passionate about, anything that you have a goal around, are you doing everything in your power okay, to be present in that moment um, to foster these good habits that can last a lifetime and actually reach your goal? Um, I know this is a little bit longer video than normal. Um, hopefully you, you got something from this. Um, and remember, how you do anything um, is how you do everything. Um, and I've really tried to express that to my students. Um, you know, I can tell who is, you know, trying, who is out there putting in the work. And I want them all to succeed. And I want them to know that they have a very fantastic, great opportunity to ha have a weights class that they don't have to pay for. Um, they're getting instruction. They're getting coaching. I mean, this stuff they can use for the rest of their life, right? So um, I, just, I just want to leave this with, you know, I just want you to think about doing the, everything that you're passionate about with intent, being mindful, and being present, okay? Um, so take that however you want. Um, if you'd like to see more of these videos, leave a comment below. Please share um, this, this video with someone um, that needs to hear it. Okay. Um, with that being said, I hope you all have a fantastic day. Um, see you later.